Resist the urge to factorize this and leave this minus one alone. We're gonna look at the first two terms. Everything that is in the B position, so AX squared plus BX plus C, this B position, you half it. So it'll be one, and then you will put X beneath. So let's do X plus, and then this half of this is one. And let's square it. So this is the same as this. And if we expand that, you're gonna get X squared plus two X plus one. So this is exactly the same as this, but we have an additional one. So if we write x plus one all squared minus one, this is exactly the same as this. And then remember, we have a minus one here. So now let's sort this out. So obviously minus one minus one is minus two. So you're gonna have x plus one all squared minus two equals naught. We can now move this two to the other side. So let's do that. We're gonna have x plus one all squared would equal two. How do we get rid of the squared on this side is by square rooting it. So let's square root both sides, this side and this side. So that would then become x plus one and this would be plus or minus square root of two. That means that we will have two solutions for x, one where the third is positive and one where the third is negative. So both the solutions, once we've minus one from both sides, would be x equals plus minus square root two minus one. So, when x equals root two minus one, this would be the exact same as 0 0.41. Or when x equals minus root two minus one, this is the same as minus 